today we have presented our project for the pneumatics and hydraulic service is that uh, position control of pneumatic cylinder. So normally when we are considering the position control of pneumatic cylinder is very difficult because we use as air as a primary source as the signal flow and air is high we can't control precisely control the position of it. Whereas in hydraulics you can control. So we have used a uh, uh, ball ball servo motor arrangement with the help of Arduino and delay arrangement to control our position of the cylinder. So uh, the main innovation in our project is that normally when you are considering the position control of pneumatic center, we use a proportional one. But here we have added a servo motor and a ball wall coupling arrangement where these would, uh, uh, what is it, concise and reduce the work of a proportional wall. Now why we have chosen this kind of arrangement is that normally proportional wall cost around 32,000 to 40,000. Uh, whereas this thing, uh, we have completed this one cable setup at the, uh, uh, at a price rate of 500 rupees. So this is a uh, cost, cost, reduce, cost reducing and efficient equipment. So first let, let me explain how this actually works. So here uh, we are connected an Arduino in the bread to the breadboard. From the breadboard we have an ultrasonic sensor relay and we have the pneumatic cylinder here and a ball wall coupling uh, uh, server motor arrangement and a double, a double operating 5 by 2 BCD and which is a uh, so where we will get the input for the range of the so where we will get the range of the piston is the serial monitor. Serial monitor is directly connected to the Arduino. So whatever we type in here, it will be converted into centimeters and it will be sent to the Arduino. Based on that range, uh, this PID functions which we have uploaded in the Arduino board, it will sense the range of the uh, cylinder. So whatever the range, uh, the wall should be open, it will determine and it will open both the walls so that the perfect position is obtained. The range by which we sense the position of the cylinder is which, uh, this ultrasonic sensor. It actually sends the ultrasonic waves uh, which, which will act as obstacle and the returning waves will be used to determine the position of the cylinder and the position will be accurate. We can also confirm the flow rate of the wall by changing the uh, rotation angle of the servo position. One, our hydraulics and pneumatics assignment project topic is low cost flexible electro pneumatic automation system. Generally, if we want to actuate two double acting cylinders in a sequence, in a desired sequence, we have to form the KV map in the case of pneumatics and form the relay logic in case of electro pneumatics. But in our project, what we have done is we have implemented a single code in Arduino. That code can run any sequence for the two double acting cylinders without any problem. It also contains the provisions for implementing counting and the time delay operations. This is the code that we have created for this project. In this code, you can see here, we can edit the sequence here. Here 1 means A plus, 2 means A minus, 3 means B plus and 4 means B minus. And also we can implement counting operations and timing operations. Timing operations can be implemented by changing the D1, D2, D3 options and counting can be changed by repeating the action 1, 2, 3, 4 in the main program. This solenoid is copy forward forward. This is what is to forward. And this Arduino will pass forward in the laptop that we have USB cable. And here is the port. In this code, we have uh, 
this code we have implement the sequence a plus a minus b plus b minus as you can see 1 2 3 and 4 now let's see the I am uploading the code the sequence is a plus a minus b plus b minus So let's try the uh, now let's try to change the sequence without changing the code. Without changing the code map, just the input we are changing and it can run any sequence. So now I am trying A plus B plus B minus and then A minus. And after a minus, I need to have a two seconds of delay. So after the fourth action, I'm giving the delay as 2000 milliseconds. That is two seconds. Without delay means without delay, it will continuously action. How will you do that? Uh, in the you change even code. Just a code. That's what our project is. This one. Now I'm opening this code. Okay. So we are starting with this. Yeah, plus B plus B minus, and after two seconds, again A plus B plus B minus, A minus, two seconds delay, again it has to And also, now um, what I did is, after A plus, I have to extend and retract this cylinder two times, after that I have to do even minus. So, this already we did that, we can change the sequence, also we can change the DO without editing the code. We are repeating one sequence inside that main sequence, and I am loaded it. So basically this system uh, is used for systems and uh, machines which are to be uh, meant to be very flexible or uh, the machines that are used to be uh, used for multiple purposes. So we have more work of doing rewiring or recoding when we want to change the working or application of that machine. So basically we can enter the sequence and then uh, implement the uh, Enter the sequence in the code and automatically that the uh, code will uh, direct all the signal process and uh, analyze the sequence and the implements in the system without any problem. Reciprocation process of the uh, double acting cylinder. When this uh, when this reciprocates, the racking pinion mechanism, that is the which is a chain and a sprocket attached to it, converts the uh, uh, linear motion to reciprocating motion, which is convert uh, which is connected to the conveyor. So the, uh, when the conveyor runs, we also have a sorting system over here. Over here, we have used the infrared sensor in order to sense the black and white objects. If we want color, we can also use color objects. So this infrared sensor, it has been coded such that the the sensor sensor has been given as an input to the Arduino which is the microcontroller and there, uh, uh, from that input it is again uh, the, the input has been programmed like if the input is high the, re the relay will be energized in turn the solenoid will be energized because of which the cylinder will be extra extract and when the when the sensor is not on that is when the sensor signal is low the relay gets de-energized and the solenoid also de-energizes so the piston retracts. So this is the whole working of the project. Thank you. So the Arduino runs a code with a delay, which is, which is uh, done in order to keep the object under the cylinder. And uh, once the bus turns on, uh, the pneumatic cylinder pushes down uh, the spool and the punching process is done. So this is the working of our body. Okay. Can I get it to the center? Yeah. The batch of five members who consist of us and we are to manage Rahul, Pagan, and myself staying in the We have done an automatic Dan Russia for the new project submission. So we have used a double acting cylinder, cylinder. And we have done a small uh, arrangement and we have welded it to the system for the candle rushing. We have used a two-way pressure valve which uses candle logic and we have used three push 
but in school for extension and one for refraction. And this is a self tape mechanism. So now let's look into the demo. For this, the pressure needs to uh, be more than 6 bar. So that is the extension. The can is being crushed now. So this is the refraction. So this is how the can is crushed. In this conveyor system, the object comes in front of the ultrasonic sensor, the uh, cylinder extends and then uh, when it moves away, the cylinder retracts. Actually, the motor is continuously on and when the object uh, comes in front of the ultrasonic sensor, there is a delay of 500 milliseconds after which the object would reach at this point and then the cylinder would extend and push the object. to control the cylinder using our mobile. Real-time muscle activity synchronized pneumatic actuator. The aim of the experiment is to actuate a single acting cylinder with the help of the muscle activity which is synchronized in real time. The components required are a single acting cylinder, a 3 by 2 single solenoid actuated DCB, an Arduino board, an EMG sensor, two 9 volt batteries and a 5 volt relay and breadboard and some connecting wires. The pathway of the experiment is the muscle activity is sensed with the help of the surface electrodes and processed in the EMG sensor where it is being filtered, amplified and rectified. This processed signal is sent to the Arduino and viewed in the Arduino and from the Arduino we can see the plot. The working principle of this experiment is when the muscle is contracting there is a high potential and when it relaxes there is a lower potential. So when the potential crosses a particular voltage the solenoid has to be actuated. We use the Arduino to supply a 5 volt to the relay when there is a higher potential. 24 volt DC supply is connected to the relay and this 5 volt acts as a control voltage. So when there is a high voltage, the 5 volt is being sent to the relay and the 24 volt is sent to the solenoid. Now the solenoid is turned on thereby activating the single acting cylinder. From the FRL unit, the air supply is connected to the DCV and from the outlet of the DCV, the air supply is connected to the input of the single acting cylinder. Now the overall circuit is complete by turning on the FRL unit and the 24 volt power supply.